All right. Ah. Uh, can we slow down a bit, though? Before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Okay. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. Okay. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Well, no. Not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was open. Oh, come on! How can you say that? How can you know what I don't know? The reason she can say that is because there's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the protein can to the rec room after it was open. Which was the open because it was on top of the thing. Source of the protein drink. Empty protein. Okay. Empty protein drink. I think that's it. When it comes to... Let me just review the thing real quickly. An empty protein drink was found near the rec room because shots of glass from the window that was broken to get into the rec room were found both around and underneath the container. Okay. Underneath. So it has to do with that. Protein can. There's not a doubt in my mind. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely okay. was not in there. Alright. So you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? Oh, oh, give me that! There we go. No, that's impossible! It, it had to have been in there the whole time! It had to be! It was in there before the right room was unlocked! There we go. No, it's wrong. Yakia, you're looking awfully, um, scrouchy you lately. It was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course. It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well, those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. He also found pieces underneath the can. What? And this proves it. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. <laughs> I... I see. So that's your explanation. Kyoko, earlier when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it... If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? It could be because of the tripwire thing. it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched. And as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room, and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. No, that's not why. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is... Exactly what happened. Then tell us already. Er, sorry. Please, tell us. Before we get to that, we need to clarify one other thing. We need to establish who exactly got the poison from the chem lab and took it to the rec room. It was Hina, right? She took it and gave it to Ogre. What do you think, Makoto? The one who got the poison from the chem lab and brought it to the rec room. It must have been... <laughs> Here, okay. So Hina brought the chem lab, the, brought the thing, but Sakura knew it was poison all along. So I'm guessing Sakura was the mastermind or something? That's my only guess, because I thought that maybe Sa- okay. Alright, well we know it's not Hero! I think it was Sakura herself. Huh? So Sakura, who was apparently murdered, just poisoned herself? Wait, what are you talking about? There's no way! On the contrary, we know for a fact she went to the chem lab, right to the section full of poisons. You're lying! Stop lying! Why? Why would you lie like that? 
no, it's not a lie, Sakura. It definitely went to Section C. Kyoko already showed me the evidence I need. Now I have to hit Hina with it. Just have to make her accept it. Another one of these things! Okay, okay. Here we go. You're a liar! What are you saying? Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! I hate you! You're a liar! It's really- oh, okay! Wrong! You're wrong! I'm telling you, I did it! Stop talking! You're a liar! Wrong! You're wrong! Okay, uh... Evidence, right. Do you oh. have any kind of fish to prove it? <laughs> yeah, I tried to press L, there's nothing there, so... Yeah. What's the point of explanation when you could just press the rhythm game to solve the case? Yellow powder stuck to it. Foot had a certain yellow powder stuck to that too, as well. So, and she was wearing sne I thought she was wearing slippers or something, or was she also wearing sneakers? It did. It did. The same yellow powder that had been spilled by the shelf in the chem lab. That powder was yellow, wasn't it? So the powder we found on Sakura, what else could it be but the powder from the chem lab? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. So what was that powder doing on Ogre's foot? And it was only on her instep, right? Sakura must have been standing right there where the powder was spilled. So the person who spilled the powder by the shelf wasn't Hina, but Sakura. Uh. And when Sakura dropped the bottle, she dropped it away from where she was actually standing, which is how she was able to avoid getting it all over herself. But the powder still got scattered around, and some of it must have wound up on her instep. Is there any problem with my thinking? But why did Sakura pay a visit to Section C in the first place? The only explanation is that she was looking for poison. After all, that's all that section contained. No! It was me! I... the poison! Because... No, you didn't kill her. Maybe she's just trying to protect Sakura from knowing the fact that she killed herself. The one that killed Sakura. The connection between Sakura and the poison and the unsolved blah blah blah. I'm curious, can I? <laughs> I could I could also choose dead people as well. Funny. Alright, where the hell is she? Here's my answer. The one who killed Sakura? was Sakura herself. <clears throat> what? The killer was... Sakura? Wait, so you're saying... it was suicide? I don't believe it. I don't believe it any more than I believe I can fly! I can't believe it either. Or rather, I don't want to believe it. But when you really think about it, everything matches up. Sakura went and got the poison. She barricaded herself in a room, and she drank it, all so she could end her own life. And that explains why we couldn't solve the mystery of the locked room. Because, of course, Byakuya created a locked room in secret. Sakura wants to create a locked room. No, it has to be Sakura. The locked room mystery was created by Sakura. I'm sure she locked herself in so nobody could stop her from doing what she did. She sat there, drank the poison, and breathed her last breath. And the empty bottle of poison rolled around the locked room until we came and opened it. At that point, someone grabbed the bottle and snuck it out of the room. And that was you, wasn't it, Hina? You did it to throw the investigation, didn't you? When we found her body, you stayed right there near the door because you already knew Sakura was dead and because the bottle of poison had rolled near the doorway. That's when you picked up the bottle, right? I was too shocked to notice anything. And Kyoko was been checking the bottle. And the more I think about it, the more I realize how unusual your actions were.
on shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. You said you were going to go get everyone else, but your real intention was to go to the chem lab and switch out the containers, wasn't it? So that was placed Once afterwards, I'm guessing? Lab, you headed straight to the section where the protein powder was kept. There, you took the powder and poured it into the bottle of poison you grabbed from the rec room. When you left the lab, all you had was the empty protein pan. Thinking about it like that, the footprints make perfect sense. When you were done, you gathered everyone together. And once you were back in the rec room... While everyone else was focused on Sakura, you quietly placed the can on the ground. Honestly, you should have noticed. You should have been the first one to run up to Sakura's lifeless body. The Hina I know never would have left her side in a situation like that. So, Sakura committed suicide. In order to hide this fact, Hina undertook a series of actions to undermine the investigation. As long as you could disguise the truth, you didn't care if we blamed you for her death. That's why you didn't bother to get rid of such obvious evidence, right? The footprints in the powder and the bottle of poison? Vital pieces of evidence. And yet... So you're saying Hina consciously deceived us to make it look like she killed Sakura? No! No! No, 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 no! I killed her! I did it! It's enough, Hina. It's over. It's not! Nothing's over! It is! Actually, no. You're right. We have to end this properly. Is this the comic book time? Alright, we'll be right back with the next episode. It's almost getting dark out anyway, so be right back and we'll come to our final conclusions and close our arguments.